Welcome to March Book Madness. Today we're reading a story of 9-11, Resilience and Regrowth, This Very Tree, by Sean Rubin. There is an old willow tree that presides over an interior garden. It is a battered tree, long suffering and much climbed, held together by strands of wire, but beloved of those who know it. In a way, it symbolizes the city, life under difficulties, growth against odds, sap rise in the midst of concrete, and the steady reaching for the sun. Whenever I look at it nowadays and feel the cold shadow of the plains, I think this must be saved, this particular thing, this very tree. Poem by E.B. White from Here is New York, 1949. Thanks to the publisher, Henry Holtz and Company. In New York City, there once stood two towers. For a time, they were the tallest buildings in the world. Below the towers was a busy plaza. That's where I was planted. Most people who came to my plaza had a job in the city. I had a job too. My leaves gave people shade. My branches gave birds a place to rest and each year I was one of the first trees to blossom. My flowers let everyone know that spring was coming. Some trees like a quiet park or forest, but I was a city tree. I liked the sound of wind rushing between the tall buildings. I liked the smell of rain on concrete in the summer. I liked being in my plaza, watching everyone coming and going. I was in my plaza the day it happened. It was an ordinary morning, until it wasn't. I waited there, alone. Around me it was dark and hot and close. Did the sun even exist anymore? It was weeks before they found me. When I came back into the light, I knew that everything had changed. The new noises and smells of the city scared me. They reminded me of what had happened. Some people put me on a truck and drove me to a nursery in a faraway park. I was grateful to be somewhere quiet. I had changed too. All winter, the people at the nursery took care of me. No one knew if my leaves would come back. They did. It was peaceful in the park. I was surrounded by other trees. Birds still visited me. That first spring, a dove made a nest in my branches. Years passed. I regrew. I wondered if my city was regrowing too. Sometimes when a shadow passed overhead, I thought about what had happened, but being surrounded by the other trees made me feel stronger. Some days, I even felt strong enough to do my old job again. That's when I knew I was ready. It was time to go home. A machine came to pull me from the ground. The noise scared me. Leaving scared me even more. We drove downtown through the city. Now I was worried to go back. What if something bad happened again? I already missed the other trees. Then I saw it, one shining spire and many more towers surrounding a new plaza. And in the plaza, they had planted a forest. It was filled with trees. Between the trees, they saved three empty spaces. Two spaces remained where the towers once stood. They would stay empty forever because nothing could fill them. The third space was for me. I wasn't comfortable at first. It had been so long since I'd heard the wind between the buildings or smelled wet concrete, but I was still surrounded by other trees and that made me feel stronger. I had a new job now too. Anyone who felt a shadow overhead could stand under my leaves and find peace. Anyone who was hurt could see how my branches had healed and find hope. In my plaza, filled with so many trees, I am still the first to blossom.
and everyone who sees my flowers knows that spring will come.